So good evening, kids. How's everyone doing tonight? Oh, How are you doing, Charlie? Oh, How was your day, Charlie? You had a good day? Uh, I went my day. Oh, yeah, I think that's inappropriate. <laughs> what about you, Cassidy? How was your day? Great. You had a good weekend? Yeah. That's awesome. So today we're going to have a very special class. So before we start, let's go ahead and pray. So repeat with me, Father. 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 Just give you thanks. Give you thanks. For the opportunity of being here. For the opportunity of being here. We just pray. Pray. That anything that we we'll teach today. That we we'll teach today. We will be able to learn. To receive it in our hearts and to share it with our friends. Thank you for being here, for Mr. Ezra, and for my friends. In Jesus' name, amen. How many of you guys have friends? Yeah, I have friends as well. But the reality is that sometimes you have friends, but they're not the friend that you want. Okay, so I want you to take at least like two minutes with your crayons and draw a super imaginary friend. Like if you will be able, you know, to have the friend of your dream, like go ahead and draw your friend um, and you can give him um, superpowers or, or whatever comes into your mind. So go ahead and be creative and draw a super imaginary friend. Ideally, what I would put is music like this. Who drops that? Jesus is my soul. I'll put some wings. Because I like pizza. Is it a girl or a boy? Or it's a girl, okay. and her name is Pizza. Okay, <laughs> Pizza. Come on, Charlie. Okay, so uh, mine is a genius. His name is Bobo, <laughs> and uh, he's gonna make all my wishes come true. So why not? Okay, okay. so he makes your dreams come true. Yeah, yeah. Who else wants to share? Come on, Jimmy. I am Mountain is the name of my imaginary friend. Ooh. He is odd gendered because <laughs> uh, because mountains are gendered. Um, and what special I, thing? The special there, thing about yes. the mountain man is that I can go to the mountains when I need to be away from everybody okay. and be able to talk to the mountains and they understand me and they totally accept me and get me. Okay, one more, Cassidy. You want to share yours? Oh, I guess so. Yes. Um, I just drew a little girl. Okay. She's gonna be my friend. 
She has this, a cape because she can fly so we can go anywhere we want. But she also has a basketball so she can teach me how to play. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, the thing is that we probably, like, like you are our own imaginary friends, but they are not real. You know, we want them to be real, but they're not real. They might be invisible, imaginary, but they're not real. But today I want to talk to you about someone that it could be imaginary or invisible, but it's not imaginary. He is real. Who knows who I'm going to talk about? Woo! Jesus! Casper? Casper? Yeah. Go ahead, Ronnie. Casper. Casper, no, not Casper. Uh, is Jesus. He is invisible, but he is real. And Jesus is our real friend. As she said, like, she like, she said that her, her imaginary friend always gave her what? Pizza. Like he he had an imaginary friend that helped him to go away to a place of peace. And 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 Cassidy had a friend that that what was your special gift or thing about oh, your uh, she could fly me anywhere. She can fly her anywhere. Charlie had one that gave him anything that he wanted, the desires. And the thing is that sometimes we want to be with people that can give us things that we need or that we want or that we desire. Like Jimmy wanted to have a friend that could take him to a place wherever he can have peace. The reality is that Jesus, even though he's invincible, he is real and he can give you that peace that you need. Probably he won't give you a piece of pizza, but he will give you those things that you need, like food in your day. Uh, he will provide to your family. And the Bible says, Charlie, that he will, um, if you're faithful to him, he will provide to the desires of your heart. So Jesus is our friend. He cares for us and he want to be uh, with us. And today our, our class is going to be about Jesus, but based in Colossians 1, 15 to 23. I want to talk about five things that Jesus is and can do as our friend, even though he is imaginary, not imaginary, but invisible, but he is real. Jesus is invisible, but he's what? Real. Very good. I love this class. Okay. <laughs> What is this? A mirror. A mirror. A mirror. And what happens when you look at yourself in a mirror? You see yourself. You see, yourself. You see your what? Your reading. Your reflection. So, okay, I'm not going to right now. So, if you see Connie, everyone, does everyone see Connie? Yeah, Connie. Okay. Who is that person there? I see a wall. I'm sorry. Connie. It's Connie, okay? <laughs> that is Connie. So listen to the, what the Bible says. says, no one has seen God, but Jesus is exactly like him. So Jesus is basically it's like God is looking through a mirror, but whatever you see in the mirror is what? It's Jesus. It's God. So Jesus is the reflection of God that is in heaven. So everything that we know about God, everything that we have heard about God is true in Jesus because Jesus is, is created at his image. Jesus is the reflection of God. So let's continue and see what happens. It says that Jesus is the image of God. Repeat with me. Jesus is, Jesus is the image of God. The image of God. Okay? And then, Jesus is the creator. I want you to take your hands right now. Take your hands. And try to grasp, I don't know, like a piece of air and create something that you want right now. Come on, Connie, be creative. <laughs> Okay, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. No, it's not. We cannot make things out of air, you know? But God, Jesus has the capacity of creating things out of nothing. Because if I have, yes, because I have, if I have this booklet and I can say, okay, I'm going to make up this a bird, you know? I'm making something out of something. But Jesus is capable to doing things out of what? Nothing. Come on. Jesus is a creator. Jesus is a creator. Perfect. So look what happens. What happens is that let's get creative right now. Bible says, Colossians 16, 17, that Jesus as well died for us, died for our sins. 
Who knows what I'm putting on the mirror? The cross. A cross. It's a cross. And that symbolizes what it symbolizes? Jesus. Jesus, died Jesus died that for us. Okay. So Jesus died for our sins, for the things that we have done, for our lives. Okay, does anyone okay, I want I wanna I wanna know what things are sins. Come on. What is a sin for you? Uh, lying. Okay, come here oh. and just like to the lie. Whatever you want. Okay. Come on, Charlie, give me another sin. <coughs> Let. What? Like <laughs> Love me. Big word for Okay, another lie. Stealing. Oh, no, sorry. Another, another <laughs> sin. Stealing. Okay. What else? Anger. Uh, Anger. What else? Hatred. I hope this works. What else? <laughs> Beam. What? Beam. Okay. Okay. It's supposed to be all wrapped in. And pharmaceutical. Okay. So. Sin might look fun, sin might look pretty sometimes, but what's going to happen is going to fade and it's going to take away the reality of Jesus in our hearts. But what happens, you know? The Bible says that, this is the part that I always go well. So if everything was white, you will see a cross, okay? So... Sin might blur like the sacrifice and what Jesus has done in your life, but through his cross, through his death and his resurrection, you can come and look at yourself in the mirror and see yourself through the cross and just know that in Jesus Christ, you have forgiveness, that in Jesus Christ, you're loved, that in Jesus Christ, you can have anything that you need, that in Jesus Christ, you have hope, that in Jesus Christ, you can do all things through him. It's through him, he wants to be your friend, and that's something that you need to remember. Jesus loves us through his cross, okay? So repeat with me, and we'll be in. Jesus is invisible, but Jesus is? Real. Very good. Jesus is the image of? God. Jesus is the? Creator. Creator. Jesus died and he shed his blood for our sins. Jesus resurrected to make us free from sin. And Jesus loved us through his cross. So I love you kids. I hope you have a good week and share this message with your parents. Amen. Aww.